Hail and well met, my warriors of light and darkness, my defenders of Eorzea, my avengers of the crushed taco. It's so good to see you on this amazing Friday night. I'm at least 45 minutes ahead of you, but now it's time to take a break for the night. <laughs> Awesome tonics. I uh I noticed through Discord you were you were going hardcore. Hardcore, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much for popping in to say hi. Give me a little rib poking. But uh I just uh I wanna say to all my uh American brothers and sisters, happy Independence Day weekend. I know Independence Day was actually yesterday, but uh, you guys should you guys should be celebrating a long re weekend regardless. I uh, got my uh, Aether Current guy done for uh, Kuzuma. Uka, which will be released tomorrow morning. Uh, I finished the recording uh, today. I, I had one Aethernet, uh, or sorry, one Aetherite current to find out in the wild uh, and was able to finish that up. There are six hours tomorrow as well. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I go for there six hours tomorrow as well. Yeah, you got it, man. Like, be proud of your country and uh, and celebrate it, guys. That's all. That's all I got to say. As a as a non-American, I. Uh, I, I love America. Uh, and every time I've ever been there has been uh, has been a blessing and a, and a great experience. Uh, let's go ahead and log in. But yeah, I finished uh, my Aether Current guide uh, that'll be released tomorrow morning. Uh, on my YouTube channel and oh my god flying around Kazuma Uka like you think the game is well no the game is stunningly beautiful down on the ground but when you get to fly around and see it is just it's insanely gorgeous insanely gorgeous Oh, and there's my uh, there's my my twi my big Twitch reward, my Chucker Poker, Ch Chukor Poker, <laughs> however you pronounce that. I love that he's got all sorts of sparkles coming off him. A little bit a little bit of dew caught in the leaves there. Some, yeah, some zones are just massive too. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you when, like, even, even, uh, I did a fly around to get my, uh, map making, uh, uh, what the hell do you call it? My map making, uh, achievement, which was a, 530,000 XP. So yeah, guys, if you're if you're just leveling up or whatever, do your aether currents per zone. Cuz you're 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 going to get you know almost a mil just for for getting the currents, doing the quests, all that kind of good stuff, right? So Oh my god. 
Oh, you're a little weirdo. I love it. Okay. Uh... Anvil would provoke, propose a course of action. I think it is time we return to Tulia Lull. After scaling Tural's tallest mountain and battling a legendary beast to death, even dauntless heroes like you could probably use a rest. In any case, there are preparations to be made before we can visit the next destination laid out in the saga. The respite would be most welcome. I believe I hear the furred cab cabins calling our names. Yeah, like I just love, it's all about the textures now. Like this is just, this is exactly what they needed to do and did do and achieve in such a splendid way with the graphical upgrade like it's to, to me it's perfect um oh my go for another six hours tomorrow is what i was supposed to say ha <laughs> gotcha tonics i got you brother Do do Did a bit of uh new game plus and the harsh fonts chainmail looks oh. Oh, 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 oh oh don't even get me started on new game plus man I've already been I've already been thinking about new game plus to do another another playthrough of the uh MSQ Rest well, everyone. We can meet back here later on. I have a small errand to run the city, so I'll leave you to recover. Will you be heading to the palace, Wuklamat? Oh, I know. I've got raids. I've got... Oh, my God. i got so much stuff. Wuklamat, did you hear me? Lost in her own little world, it seems. Well, no matter. I'll be back soon enough. An attendant is standing by to unlock your cabin. Enjoy your stay. Do 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 do. do. Welcome back, Master Weird. Your cabin is just as you left it. Minus a light layer of dust. Ha 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 ha. Oh, going to the beach tomorrow. Nice, brother. Hello. Oh, for you, you pretty kitty. There's something I wanted to talk to you about.
So I uh <laughs> <laughs> Okay, darling. It's just too stuffy in here. That's what. We should go outside. Aye, a nice walk in the fresh air. That's what we need. All right. You're not the first girl to suggest we go for a walk, you know. to try away from your nice comfortable cabin but I can feel the walls closing in oh I know I I'll take you to one of my favorite places until you love that should help me get my thoughts in order we'll go to the resplendent quarter and make our way up from there Come on, Gala Cat. Shiwa, what are you doing up and about? Is your back feeling better? It's much healed now, so you don't have to make a fuss. Besides, I can't be lounging around in bed all day when you're out there fighting your hardest to win the throne. You're the claimant with the greatest love for peace. I love this nation of ours, and lending you my support is the least I can do. When I see you smile like that, how can I not be encouraged? Oh, oh, oh there's plenty more who believe in your cause. I can recruit a whole battalion of smiling faces if you think it'll help. Yours alone is more than enough. Thank you, Peshawa. And thank you, Third Promise. I shall pray for your success in the contest. All those smiling faces. Ah, oh, sorry, Rune. I'm getting distracted. It's just that with the progress we've made in the contest, even these everyday encounters feel that much more special. Do you think we can take our time? Maybe wander around a little first. Then we can head to that spot I was thinking of. And no one trashes our tacos and gets with. Oh my god. Get the sunlight.
This is much better. Yeah. I used to come here all the time when I was little. I'd look out over the whole city. And whatever worries I had would seem so small. <laughs> yeah, I can I can understand why, Tonics. Do you remember what I said at the top of Orc or Zormor? That I would fight to preserve Papa's peaceful Tural? Well, I've been thinking a lot since then. Yeah, like just, and I love that how they're able to get that Boca effect now in the cutscenes. Like it just adds so much depth. About what peace really means. If it's just the absence of war. And it brought to mind all the best parts of our journey so far. Ah. Oh yeah, the real giant. Sorry, not taking a screenshot of her. <laughs> I realize nothing gives me greater joy than the happiness of others. Oh, well, that's a great blessing, my dear. Got to do my hunts for today. I have to wait till tonight. <laughs> Life has its ups and downs, but the company of family and friends and the music of their laughter is what makes it worth living. <laughs> the old lady is really the villain. Yeah, I knew it. That's why I didn't want to take a screenshot of her. And as silly as it might sound, I've come to believe that those small places are the best measure of peace. Correct. Sort of thing I don't expect you to say. Uh, you wish for a world like in the Yakui's dream. With eternal life and no struggle or conflict, it's certainly an ideal worth striving for. Who knows if we could make such a world a reality? But. Renouncing war and conquest seems like a good place to start. So, this is my plan. When I become Dawn Servant, I'll build on Papa's peace. Our people will live <laughs> together <laughs> in happiness. Oh my god, I love her so much. Just like Kryle said. By taking the time to hear their concerns, understand their feelings, and consider how best to serve, with each passing day, I'll be that much closer to becoming the leader I want to be. It's hard for me to say how much I've changed since the contest began, but there's one thing I can say with confidence. wouldn't have come this far without you as allies. <laughs> if it wasn't for you all listening and feeling and thinking along with me, I would have never learned so much. I didn't so short a time. Secretly wanting to be a hammer. Yeah, just like just like uh, when I'm uh, when I'm on my paladin and I'm wishing it to be a mace or uh, a war hammer or something. Yes, exactly. There are two keystones left. After everything that's happened and imagining what could happen, are you still willing to walk this path with me? 
Hells yeah, darling. We're just getting to the good part. <laughs> Thank the gods for that. <laughs> well, I have nothing else to get off my chest. I need to head to the palace, but I'll see you back at the cabins. Oh, yeah, you just enjoy your night in the palace, darling. And I'll go, uh, actually, who am I kidding? Those, the art, my cabin looks pretty freaking sweet, but. <laughs> Rose is a city of gold. You better deliver. Oh my God. These cutscenes, man, they just blow me away. Nice rest. You look to be in good spirits. I assume your leisure time was well spent. Sure. I was glad to snatch some quality sleep myself. After all, it'll be it'll he'll soon be back to the road for us. Yeah, the, yeah, they just blah. Oh what, what, whoa, one million holy sugar foot. Albano seems eager to review your junior journey thus far. I'm sure the others will be along shortly. I do hope everyone has rested well. Uh -huh. Now that we've refreshed ourselves somewhat, let us consider all the claimants as they currently stand. Are all John Kona have completed every feat thus far and hold five keystones apiece. Book Lamont would be equal with them, but for Bakul Jaja's thievery, which has left us one short. That conniving braggart so much as lift a finger in the feet of proof and wreck havoc for the feet of ice. He can't have more than three keystones at most. He may think he can simply steal what he needs to win, but he's sorely mistaken. I will be taking back what is mine. This is I, this I swear. Get that cat hair out of your mouth. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Touch that sentence with a six foot pole. At sleep in your bed, it's in a damn straight. Oh my god. Like and especially So when I when I like because I sleep on my side or whatever, sometimes boo. Like I'll wake up like literally like half my head on the pillow, half my head on boo. And yeah, you want to talk about mouth full full of cat for Oh my god. But that's also why I sleep in too. Because she's always purring and stuff, and it's like, 
Eh, screw this. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> uh, I feel that reclaiming your keystone may not be enough. That is if Gul Jaja's unleashing Valgamanda is any indication. Using his lead, I anticipate that he will move to obtain the remaining keystones before disrupting, disrupting his rival's attempts. We may all find ourselves being forced to take uh, from one another. I can't say I'd be comfortable with that. But neither will I surrender my claim to the throne so easily. It's not. It's for the sake of preserving the happiness of the people. I'll do what I must. The last two keystones we would require are those of the Lay of the Past and the Lay of the Brotherhood. The former depicts a cessation of hostilities between the Mamul Jaw and the Exubero in the forest of Yaktel, specifically near a village called Barax. That's where I was born, if you recall. I haven't been back there in days since Papa took me in when I was a baby. Where the lay of the Brotherhood takes place, however, is unclear. In the saga, it is said to f that a foreign explorer came seeking an audience with the Dawn Servant, but little more than that. Eorzea has a similar tale. The explorer Ketanum, uh, sorry, Ketanrum, uh, befriended a two-headed king known as the Atar, or Comer, uh, before commencing his travels across Tyrell. He journeyed here several times afterwards, but was ultimately lost at sea. At least that is commonly the commonly held belief. Now see, this is this is my only This is my only my only gripe. Like that like this Kryl should be saying this part. Ketan Ram is her grandfather. Like he, she knows his his path, right? Like, is it like? I mean, not. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love Alfie to death, uh, but well, 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 well. So far, I don't have too many other grapes. I'll be perfectly honest. Like I. Like I say, but there, there, there are parts where it should be Kryl in the dialogue, not Alphano, right? So, like, it's almost... Uh, and I hate to say this, like, it's almost like they paid lip service to including Kryl, right? Like, and, and I mean, this is just my viewpoint so far in the MSQ. Um... And, and, and that's good action. I'll be glad to see it, but but I really feel like moments like this should have been held by trial. Like I I know Alpha knows a, a a master scholar and stuff like that, but you know, so's Kryl. She's the current leader of the students of Baldessian, right? And I mean this is her grandfather for Pete's sakes. Like and it's not it, it this isn't a this isn't a deal breaker or anything i just feel bad that if the intention was for trial to be brought into the foreground this was these little parts should have been part of that your two-headed king certainly sounds like papa so this Ketanram fellow must have come to Tully Lal. Oh, well, okay, yeah, maybe zoom over to... But need he arrived some 80 years ago, the capital may not have been built yet. Messages of Yahvi architecture notwithstanding. Sure, yeah, and I mean, and that's... Once again, like, when I get 
to the point of Kral getting her doing stuff like that. Like, I mean, my my viewpoint may shift. It's just right now. I'm just not understand. Like, I mean, yeah, of course, Alpha knows supporting Kral or whatever, but I just feel like. Alpha knows already enough of a uh, alpha star in this in this in this series, right? And and, and if the like I say, if the intent was to bring Kryle to the forefront, these are conversations she should have been part of. That's all right. I've got a I've got a I've got a better female kitty in this. Sir, I'm a, I'm a wook. I am a Wook Lamat simp like you would not believe. I, uh, and, 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 you know, God bless Beethola. Beethola's absolutely gorgeous, awesome gal. But, uh, Wook Lamat is, uh, I, I'm firmly wrapped around her, her pinky, as it were. Wait, you said Otar, didn't you? And Ketanam must have met. The dancer in Mamuk. Mamuk is that a city? One of the grandest in Taral, once upon a time. And the seat of the Mamuk Jaws homeland. It too lies in Yakpal. Not far from Brax. Er, it Brax. Then all things considered, Yaktel seems obvious choice for our next destination. And I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for Alice A to stop looking like. Uh, I mean, she's got. She's got. Alice has got more junk in the trunk this expansion. But but she's just got to. She's got to be like maybe a little taller, like at Wuklamat's height, and then she'll be my super sim. A fully loaded taco. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are ridiculous. Sorry, guys. Crap. I do. What did I do? Sorry, guys. There. All right. There we go. From here, the safest method of travel is by dirigible. We should make for the landing once our preparations are complete. We're riding one of Kona's balloons. They can't be any worse than ships, can they? Oh, they'll be better. Well, in a way, darling. Minus the minus the uh any possible turbulence.
Yeah, Zoot Suit Riot. Yeah, buddy. Or like squirrel nut zippers or anything like that. 100%. Even now, uh, even the Brian Setzer uh, Orchestra. Uh, very, very, very similar. Bum, bum. Yes, sir. And sorry, folks, I'm just going to drop in some, uh, some materia. As well use the old stuff while we got it. Hey, why not for a little for a little extra a little extra umph? Why not? I mean, it's I mean, it's it's not going to be used otherwise, right? Like, I don't know. I'm not I'm not too overly concerned about it. I mean, this is all crap I picked up from quests anyways, or from dungeon runs. Right, yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. got you know what i've got uh witcher 3 uh what is it the remaster or the hd redo or whatever and that's something uh, that i've been thinking about starting to stream soon as well Dude. 
Yeah, of course, tonics. Shortly, passengers are asked to keep hands, legs, and luggage inside the dirigible at all times. Uh, are we sure that the thing will stay in the air? All the way to Yaktel? Are you ready? Bags packed in their goodbye set. There's no going back once we lift off. Oh, darling. And not, not that I'm nervous or anything. I'm just making sure you're not nervous. <laughs> oh, and who am I kidding? My knees won't stop shaking. Hey, will you hold my hand? I, I just, just until I've settled my nerves. Oh, you got it, darling. First. You're the nicest person I've ever met, Rune. I'll try not to crush your hand. There she is. They're promised. Wait just a moment. Mablu, Dobly, of course, of course. I'll wait as long as you need. <laughs> Sorry to delay you, but we are able to discover the origin of Kral's earring. Uh, cut content. One of them is a group of different endings that never made it into the game. Oh, interesting. Is that so? You said before it gained popularity in Yachtarell as a protective ward for travelers, correct? That's right. We tracked down the elderly merchant to whom first scales are attributed. For sale, sorry. According to him, the design imitates an accessory worn by a foreign uh, mage he met at market some 20 years ago. Little did he know that charming taste of salt would prove to be a commercial triumph. What an image. Wearing this earring could only be my be grandfather. Did the merchant happen to mention which market? One in Yachtel, to where it seems you're already bound. What luck? Then I shall seek my next clue once we arrive. Is it mere coincidence that brought my grandfather there, or... Yet another discovery to look forward to. Thank you both for coming all this way. Anything for the third promise. Good luck with the rest of the right. Th -th Thanks. I, I won't let you down. Just got to board on this dirigible and and I'm as good as there. Ask calls for passengers to yet tell. Uh, 
I really hope she wins. Cactel will test her mettle, without a doubt. Hard me. Next on servant must be willing to bear the full weight of this nation's history, no matter how heavy it may be. The fierce chaparral hunters who laid claim to this land call it the Azure Forest, Yachtel. Battered by meteors in ancient times and colored mesmerizing shades of blue and green by nature, it is easy to understand why the place is so named. Alright. Nice. It is here. Oh yeah, I, I agreed to hold her hand 100%. Dominance, that the right of succession would reach its climax. Just gorgeous. Cosimalka. I suggest you pay more attention to the ground, unless you want to walk straight into a cenote. Okay. A cenote? Paint her vomit a more pleasing color. <laughs> Sinkholes filled with rain and groundwater. Many meteors fell here long ago, it is said. And after they struck the earth, it became susceptible to erosion. Deep as some of the pits are, you'll not climb out in a hurry should you take a tumble. So don't take a tumble. <laughs> it was one time. <laughs> Is the Chabral community depicted in the Lay of Repas close by? Okay, so Chabral. Okay, that's how they want to pronounce it. Okay. Hi. We need but follow the path a short way west. Right. I can't stand here with my knees knocking forever. Let's get going. Awesome. Thick of vegetation comes with reduced re visibility. I advise you to keep someone in sight at all times. As you all piss off. <laughs> but I digress. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Minutes further. Nice. Look at this zone. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's a goddamn wombat or something. No, I haven't tried swimming underwater yet. I've only sw swam across it, uh, Tonics. Does it look pretty good or what?
There we go. Done and done. to have a funny grave about it. Yeah, what's... Oh, the player count's been higher than ever before. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not shocked about that. Hmm. In the underwater, the walls look wet. I remember right. They just look like walls. Okay, okay. So a little bit of a backfire. Good. Everyone's accounted for. Ikbrach, Ikbrash is up ahead. Let's be on our way. What they just look like walls. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Sorry, suckers. As an adventurer, I have one rule: bind thyself to the aetherite crystal first. There we are. No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking I understand what you said, man. Edinville was not exaggerating about the synods. It would be a grueling ordeal to climb out of one. Well, thankfully, we made it here without incident. Let's not dally any longer. Dark mahogany. Oh no. Oh, we gotta get we gotta get over here for the grand reveal. Oh ho 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 Oh sweet sugar foot. That's what I'm talking about. Wuglamot's attention is divided between the perilously deep Sanat uh, and Ikbra. Or Ikbrash. Or Braz. Ready to head on in. Dead high bow looks good too. Oh. Our first look uh, should be finding the Electa. Hopefully our relative tardiness will not reflect poorly upon us. A third promise in her retinue, I presume. You presume right. I seek the Dawn Servant Selector. Then come and join us in the Garden of the Stars at the set village center. Everyone is waiting for you. Everyone? Who might that be? There's but one way to find out. Come. Let us follow him. Man, oh man. And now, and, and in the back of my head, absolutely ridiculously is now I can hardly wait to see all the other, like, I mean, not just the regions that I've still got, 
to explore yet. But now I want to see like, you know, five more expansions all at once. At last, we are graced by the presence of the third promise. You know what, Sereljaw? I want a straight arm dick punch you, pal. Five known would be waiting on your mangy hide. I wouldn't have bothered with Ligarmanda in the first place. Wow. Okay there, puss in boots. Considering we kicked its ass, why don't you just shut your mouth and we'll do the same to you? Part, pardon me, folks. Uh, but cool, ja ja brings out uh, yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. I want to do the. I want to do that that the old double archer poke to the eyes man like holy god I hate him You self-serving piece of weaver dumb do you have any idea how many could have been hurt That's right what you tell him <clears throat> Now that we are assembled let us begin my name is Hunmuruk. As a brass rash, I have the honor of serving as elector on behalf of my people. As all four claimants must be present for this feat, we have eagerly awaited your arrival. Third promise, if you would please join us. Thus far, you have faced each other as rivals. The feat of repast, however, will test your cooperation. You must complete this challenge in teams of two. What? You expect us to work with one of these weaklings? Oh, his voice actor changed. Seeing this a second time, you definitely notice some background things. Awesome. Well, and that's that's why I like streaming Your this stuff, man. Like only the triumphant team will receive keystones. I advise you to cooperate with your partner. Teams will be decided by lots. Those who draw the same color will be paired accordingly. Look at that vase. Look at you can tell it's been glazed. Twelve forbid Wuklamat is paired with Bakul Jaja. After all he's put her through, I wouldn't blame her if she did something rash. I might even help. <laughs> Also a simp for Alice A. That's a that's a quiet simping. Like I said, gotta wait till she's you know Uriange's height. Clements, please present your colors. I have red. Blue. On separate teams, then. And the rest? Red. Good. Means... Awesome. Together again, as fate would have it. Good combo. <laughs> the, the other, the other two our souls are already working together anyway, so. 
With our claimants thus paired, so too is their opposition. <sighs> Not the one head. Listen well, for the trial that awaits you is as follows. Each team is to prepare a sample of traditional Chebrol cuisine. Shebrook Bibil. And now we must cook another ludicrous feat. So it might seem, but there's yeah, bound to maybe be they'll beat each it. other up. Exactly, Ashen. Agreed. Given that the very future of our nation is at stake, all parts of this rite must have significance. Well, of course it does, you morons. You gotta... This is showing that you can work with people. Like... That maybe you're, you're, you're contested against or, or have conflict with. Like, come on, guys. Our promises have grown rather promising, wouldn't you say? Indeed. If I were to guess at the significance of the feat, few things reflect the history and development of a culture so clearly as its culinary traditions. Ah, uh, sure, but... The variety of stewed dishes in Galian cuisine bespeaks their agricultural roots and cold climes, true. You're looking at it the wrong way, guys. The peoples we've met on our journey, they've all had different practices involving food and drink. The Hanu Hanu replenish their magical energies with reeds, while the Pelu Pelu have turned their fondness of beverages into a living. So basically, to know a people's cuisine is to know something of their ways. With each feat, we have deepened our familiarity with a given community's history and culture. Is this what Father intended for us all along? But a leader with his vision must see that the past doesn't hold the answers we need. It is through embracing innovation, not adhering to tradition, that we will usher Tuli Yolal onto a more prosperous future. <laughs> what did you guys eat for dinner tonight? Uh, my my dinner is going to be after the stream, and I'm going to be making... Uh, I'm going to be grilling up a couple of hamburgers. Uh, for, for, for my dinner, my good friend. What did you have for dinner, Mr. Tonics? All the things in two dimensions. Be a queen and two food. Yes! Yes, and, and I think I know why I love her because that is the boo, that is the boo template for life. Food and being the queen. <laughs> what what is what is homemade pokeballs? Like what what is that, Ashen? are simple. The first team to prepare and partake of satisfactory Shebrook Bivir will be Oh, okay. Victorious. Okay, like a California be roll. Judged by your be awesome. Appearance. Okay, I gotcha, as I gotcha. Well as your adherence to appropriate cooking techniques. And uh, barbecue pulled pork sandwich corn on the cob and pickles. Here, nice. Yeah, see, that's like my, uh, that's what my taco, that's what my taco salad is. Just deconstructed taco with tons of extra, you know, 
lettuce and stuff like that. Oh, the uh, sorry, Mountain Dew. Gotcha, brother. That's a good. That's a good meal, my friend. Kitchens have been made available for your use. Note that you may be asked to retry should your dish fail to pass muster. <laughs> Let the feat of repast begin. I've never actually heard of Shibrook Bibio before. It's a light, no wonder. Oh, you're a smart girl. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. All right, folks, just before we continue on with the MSQ, I'm going to take a very quick uh, bio break. Grab a top up for my drink and all that good stuff, and then we will continue on. Uh, last night we have barbecue beer. Oh god, yeah, yeah. Okay, so all that stuff, all that stuff, sign me up for Ashen. I am down. All right, I'll be right back, folks. Uh, anyone just checking out the channel, please hit that follow button. Uh, as does help the uh, channel grow and just a reminder that uh, I do have some codes for the rewards available for people that are interested all you got to do is give me a follow and then I will message you uh, the code to either the food buff or the uh, aetherite ticket uh, reward. So, I'm some drink this time. Oh, God, dude, you're killing me. All right, I'll be right back, folks. So, speaking of, uh, speaking of jerky, have you ever had, uh, oh, fuzzy Makote? <laughs> Let's take, let's get a good, oh, look at you, sir. Looking like a great Aztec warrior of old. Yeah, now a reaper. Looking good, brother. And I like, and I love your, I love your little Greg. That is just, uh, <laughs> that is awesome. Sorry, and I call him I call him Greg because of because of Manderville. I, I'll I'll be I'll be nice and call him Gilgamesh, but that's great, brother. You're looking good, man. Here, sorry, I'm just gonna I'm gonna give the folks at home a little. Ooh, look at that long the long feather there. I'm gonna do the do the once around here. And the armor just looks so good now. Holy jeesh. Yeah, Jim. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, uh, you know what? Deer jerky is amazing. I mean, I love normal beef jerky or whatever. Uh, but there, I used to work, uh, when I worked in an office... Uh, there was a there was a hunter dude that I knew who worked for. He actually worked for a, a mineral company. Like uh, they basically uh, evaluated the the quality of uh, minerals and stuff like that for uh, mining prospects and all that kind of stuff. Uh, well, he would always bring in, uh, yeah, of course, of course, of course, my friend, I should have guessed, but, uh, I don't know. This was just special because he always used to, uh, 
after uh, after uh, deer season, after deer hunting season or whatever, he'd always bring me uh, a nice big Ziploc bag of his homemade uh, deer jerky and uh, he'd bring me steaks. And uh, I tell you, my friends, that's that's the way to go. You know, you get you get down on that that natural that natural meat. I'll tell you what, holy sugarfoot. Um, yeah. Anyways. Oh, fish. See, I don't know. I'm where I would be worried about fish jerky. And you and you dyed the armor too, eh, brother? Do you use the, the two-tone? Yeah, that's looking good, man. Here we'll uh get get rid of the crap on the screen. Take a good shot of you there, brother. Yeah, that's a good looking outfit, brother. I love the I love the gloves too. That's awesome. Okay, there we go. some lettuce to the old uh, swift wind how fortunate that this feat's unique stipulations have frustrated but cool to jaws attempt to delay us serves him right that's what he gets for endangering my people with his schemes why doesn't he just compete fairly? He's plenty strong and obviously has a mind for strategy, twisted though it may be. I'll never understand him. Putting aside our competition for the moment, allow me to express how glad I am for this opportunity to work together. As I see it, our team possesses a distinct advantage. Yeah, of course we do. <gasps> oh my god, what? Any time I'm on is bound to succeed. Precisely. You mean we have an adventure in numbers, yes? Our competition has a team of six. The two claimants, Karolja and Bukolja Jaws Lackeys. Whereas we are a team of nine, that's three more people we can mobilize. With the task suitably delegated, it should be a brisk affair to learn the recipe and assemble necessary ingredients. Too easy! Well, we mustn't be overconfident, lest we make a careless mistake that could have been easily avoided. Our first order of business should be determining the recipe for Jibrek Pibel. We can hardly gather ingredients for a dish we know nothing about. Given the nature of this feat, asking for answers directly may prove less effective than simply observing the daily habits of the Gibral people. Let us gather here once we've seen what clues this village has to offer. certain someone don't catch up <laughs> all right tonics brother
Look at this place, folks. So I'm not well sure whether we're looking for sparklies or... Color banana peel has been neatly arranged on the ground, which appears to be smoking. Oh no! It appears I've gone and dropped my najul. I mean, Tiki banana peel. I can barely see it for all the steam issuing from my underground oven. Ah, uh, there's nothing like enjoying a tasty banana while you use leaves in your cooking. to get our losses and head to Marmuk. It's feet is nothing but a fool's errand. You're the fool if you think he won't tan our heights for leather if we dare to return without enough key stones. Besides, we've taken from the house before. How difficult could it a second time be? Oh, well, what are you looking at, Saltlager? Mind your own business. Salt liquor, eh? How, how, why don't you take a lick on one of my arrows yet? It's gorgeous here though. Alright, 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 alright. Time to get out of the grotto. Oh, there we are. Colorful spices. We learned we learned all about those in Rods and Han. <laughs> that one's called Achote. We most use it to add a bit of color to our most special popular cuisine. But its medicinal benefits are significant as well as well. Oh yeah, fat cat in the jungle damn street. She's my gal.
Um, the recipe for a ze zebra quibble. Wish I could tell you, friend. A dish so delicious is meant to be shared. Alas, we are forbidden from divulging anything orders from Hunter Rook himself. Then your mentioning it has given me a fierce craving. I only hope there's still Ibrak to be at, to be had at the market. Wink. <laughs> That's awesome. That is effing awesome. I love it. Sorry, sorry, I'm back. What did we discover about Zibric PL? True to your prediction, the villagers were forbidden for from educating us uh, er, directly. However, many were still preparing it as one might a staple dish. An observation of their techniques yielded clues enough. A lady blending local herbs and spices is only too happy to describe the ones I didn't recognize, while neither confirming nor denying any relation to Zibric Pueblo. But one in particular she attributed to all common Gibral dishes, Akyote, she called it. So Chipotle? <laughs> I see. And the zipper pool is indeed a dish as ubiquitous as Alphino claims. We have confirmed our first ingredient. Meanwhile, I did observe a cook bearing bundles of rot uh, bundles wrapped in leaf of Naju or banana in certain localities. To it seemed the use of subterranean ovens is commonplace. I saw the same. I think we all know what's inside those bundles then, don't you? No. Ibrook. Without a doubt. As would be expected of a dish called Zebrak uh, Pibil, indeed. Although I, I'm thinking about having a slab of beef wrapped in banana leaves and covered in spices and cooked in uh, in a ground pit. Oh, sign me up. So to summarize, this dish is one of Ibrak. Flavored with a combination of spices that includes akyote and steamed underground with najul or banana leaves. Given our circum uh, assumptions are correct, we must now learn where and how to procure our ingredients. As a steeple cuisine, its ingredients would be close at hand, which is why Thankred and I scouted the surrounding forests while you were exploring the village. Between the local vegetation and Wilder Brook, we would have everything we need in regards to meat and spices. Ha! Leave it to the Master Gleaner! With that, we should next divvy up our tasks. While some gather ingredients, others would make ready the kitchen. I can help prepare the kitchen. Permit me to assist as well. Our ovens will doubtless require firewood, and I have some experience in its gathering. Yes! Oh my god! That Square Enix, kudos to your writers. Oh my I'm sorry, that's just 
That's so on the goddamn nose that it's awesome. I love you, Alfie. <laughs> I too should be glad to volunteer mine aid. And the rest of us will gather ingredients. I can make quick work of the spices and herbs myself. I'm happy to lead someone to suitable brook if they perform the requisite deed, Alice. As for the Najul leaves, I believe I'm capable of acquiring that much on my own. You won't. You won't find the jewel in these parts. They only grow in the Jaw Tiga Heartland, or as far below these. Such an excursion may be time consuming. Perhaps we try we ought to try bartering first. This feat encourages our communication with the locals, after all. Amatia, Rune, if you would accompany me on my errand. You got it, buddy. No better way to wet my appetite. Good. Let's be about our task then. Come on, let's go and get those natural leaves. The sooner we do, the sooner we can eat. I love you're a girl after my own heart. Has the look of a man intent on finding bananas. Let us see if there are no jewel leaves to be had in town. Perhaps the cook Oriange mentioned might be persuaded to spare us a few. Again? Do you need something? A jewel leaves. Purposes other than limber. Even naturally. Fortunately, I've just used up my last. I have to travel to the lower forest for more. Momojek Grove is a source of the finest and jewel leaves you'll find. Wild variants you sometimes see in city markets can't compare. I see. I hope to avoid such a lengthy adventure. There's no other way to obtain our ingredient than to Jatika Heartland we shall go. I mean to save you the trip. Traveling there requires that you go through the Tillinbic when you traverse, but it has caved in due to the recent storm, I suspect. What? 
But that means we can't get our Nunju leaves. But we can, can't we? If there were no other way of procuring them, we would have suspended the speed, or else altered its objective. Perhaps. Anyway, I apologize for the interruption, but having overheard your conversation, I felt compelled to chime in. That's very kind of you. Any last minute advice you'd be willing to share? Only to undertake the feat of repast with an empty stomach. You may find Zimbrick Pitbo to be a delicious but daunting dish to finish. Yeah, I can't wait. Still, if there are no leaves here, and we can't travel more, how are we supposed to gather all our ingredients? These feats are meant to deepen our understanding of the peoples and cultures of Tulialal. So perhaps there is something about Zibrik Pibil that can be we have yet to learn. Something of significance other than its recipe or ingredient. Oh, I see. Like who was the first to make it? It's history, that sort of thing. <clears throat> if Ejecta L's history you're interested in, you should start with the old war. Between the Gibral and the Mumble Jaw, right? These forests have borne witness to centuries of warfare. The evidence of which remains a scar upon the earth. To know the end of bloodshed is to know, Zimbert Pabil. Huh? What does Steam Dibitter have to do with bloodshed? Precisely the question we must answer. Vexing though such a detour may seem, I can think of no other way to approach this feat. In that case, you may wish to visit the site of a settlement ruined by the war. Village of Ilianoso. It lies short distance to the east. Billiard, the village of Ilianoso. Understood. Thank you for your help. Come, let's go see this place. Elyon Asso. Asso must be further east. Let's continue with haste. For all we know, our competitors may be on our heels.
Stay away, stop catching up to me. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty quick, Tonix. Yeah, oh god, it's fine. Yeah, okay, I shouldn't you show off. So, this is the village of Ilya Naso. Or what's left of it? It was a place of light and life. My great grandfather called it home, in fact. Wookie Woo. I didn't know you were in Yachtel. Oh, is this her? Is this her? I was picking up lumber for her brush. I heard the third promise was on her way to the site of deep historical significance. I immediately saw another opportunity to be of service and so followed you here. Is this her grandfather or something like? Wookie Vu is a shipwright who came to our aid during the Feet of Reeds. A pleasure. You're a member of the Third Promise Retinue, I presume? Let's see if I care. <laughs> oh, Tonic, sir. For the moment, I suppose I am. My name is Kona. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Kona. That's a good name. A familiar name. Where have I heard? Oh, God. Kona. This is the second promise of Tulilal. I think I addressed the Don Servant's own son as some common retainer. Such dis disrespect cannot be excused. Please take your, up your gun and... Oh, come on. Not this again. I take no offense, so please do not dwell on it. All right, then. I shan't dwell on it. Uh, and right on cue, at least he's consistent. I understand you wish to learn about Zivrak Bugle. I'm forbidden by the Zibrak Zrash to divulge any information regarding its preparation. I'd be apt to share you what I know of the Yaktael's history. We'd appreciate that. In its most basic sense, the conflict between Jbral and Mamulja was one of land. The Mamulja live in the lower forest, where the thick canopy obscures sun and soil, is unforgiving to crops. This drove them to covet the upper forest, the home of the Jibral, and they launched a determined campaign to seize it for themselves. An advantage ever favors higher ground. The Jibral forces held the upper hand against the invaders, rebuffing them time and again. But as the state of this village would attest, the tide eventually turned. What brought it about? Something you all you know all too well, blessed sibling. You must understand 
the Momoja were once a people as much at war with themselves as they were with others. Fabio, Uniwa, and Topro each sought to assert dominance over the others, even as they engaged the Gibral in battle. In an effort to strengthen the bonds and discourage infighting, Obigo and Gunawa leaders arranged a marriage between their children. How this political measure altered the course of history in ways no one could have ever imagined. It was long believed the partners of different clans could not have children together. And then it happened. A child arrived who shared the blood of Obigo and Manoa both. A two-headed Mamalja. Blessed with tremendous physical strength and magical prowess. Grew into a mighty warrior before eventually arising as the first Atar. Ruler of all three clans. Such qualities would dispose anyone to leadership, character notwithstanding. Under the Artarch's rule, the newly united Mamulja became a force to be feared, and the war soon came to a head. I think at best you see the results firsthand. Let us visit another battlefield from that time. There I shall continue the tale. Look at the shadows down. Like, look how. Oh my god, that's just glorious. Oh! There's Mr. McCoy. Day. Yeah, brother! Does not look good. Wow. This is where most battles were fought between the Shabral and Mamulja, the Shobrit Cinderfield. A field of cinders, indeed. How fierce their clashes must have been. This is like, uh... You know, the, the fields of Mordor, right? Um... Because it was the, the great war between... Well, the last alliance in, uh, and Sauron created, uh, there was mighty magics that created wastelands and stuff like that. And that's, that's kind of what this is giving me the, uh, the vibe of. The war over these lands began after the Yoquis departure some 500 years ago. And for four centuries thereafter, the two enemies repaid violence with violence. A constant stream of minor skirmishes punctuated by massive slaughter. Until father ended their endless conflict 80 years ago. Accompanied by a retinue of only six, the Dawn Servant opposed both armies and brought the fighting to a standstill. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> For your barbecue! <laughs> 
I love you, Ash. And yes, 100%, dude. First, they sealed Bali Armanda at full strength, and now this. It was during this armistice that both sides gathered for negotiations at the Dawn Servant's behest. Oh, echo time. Holy shit. Look out. <laughs> oh, the giant with him. For too long, you have been bound by your ancestors' violent legacy. It is past time you broke free of it. Tell that to the scales come. We fight to protect what is rightfully ours. If not for their greed, we'd be living in peace. Buff your tails and scurry off, then. Cowards like you ill deserve the bounty of this forest. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, lizard breath. Even should one of you succeed in vanquishing the other, your triumph will last only until a new invader arrives. Hi, Ferex. Hi, oh, sweet boy. Tell me, do you know of the vast continent that lies far to the east where numerous nations vie for dominance? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You do not. And why should you? Affairs beyond the salt we have no intention to cross are of no consequence to us. Not until those affairs come to Tural, like our honored visitor here. He's from across the ocean. I've been to the ocean before, and it's nothing but water farther than the eye can see. What sort of vessel could possibly reach its end? That such technology exists is indisputable, as is foreign powers' awareness of Tural. If any such country were to develop a taste for Turali soil and bring to bear the might of innovations we can only imagine, what do you suppose happens then? You do not know the warlords of the East, but you know that if they came, they would not settle for a single forest. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow. Wow, wow, wow. By joining hands, we might create a unified front, an alliance capable of repelling them or any other foe. There is no greater proof of these than my companions and I. Alone we are weak, but together, we triumphed over Valigarmanda. What? You defeated the Sky Ruin? Uh, we sure did. I'd take you for a liar if the sting of our own defeat wasn't still fresh.
their coordination was indeed impressive. How the Pelu Pelu stymied our efforts to cripple the Yokui's legs and defend our ballistas. And when we withdrew to strike again from a distance, the Hanu Hanu called the winds to make our arrows miss their marks. In seeking to exploit their weaknesses, we only subjected ourselves to their strengths. Those strengths are born of cooperation. The guiding principle of the nation we envision. But our feud has lasted for centuries. How do you expect us to join hands now? Ha <laughs> ha! Give us an evening to convince you. Ha 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 ha! And so began that legendary banquet. Of course. One would not expect sworn enemies to abruptly drink to each other's health. And, indeed, a tense silence hung over the venue. So one, one thing to, uh... I mean, just be a little bit of a history nerd. Uh, you know, during World War One, uh, you know, uh, both the uh, German sides and the the German side and the uh, Allied. Forces side actually uh, took a break on Christmas Eve, uh, where the soldiers actually got together and celebrated Christmas uh, together, uh, playing uh, soccer slash football. having drinks and food together and stuff like that like that this is this is pretty awesome that it kind of replicates that exact thing because of because uh, of course it was a the, you know <laughs> it would be a little tense or whatever but you know it's something that we we can't understand in our generation. Um, and all war then, yeah. Well, no, that that was the that was the intention, right? That was the intention, Ashen. Uh, yeah, I just wow this. Uh, this cutscenes uh, has hit me uh, like a, a ton of lead bricks here. But then the dawn servant called for the exchange of traditional cuisine. So it was that the Mamurja partook of spiced meat and the Chevrol steamed Najul. Nice. Nice. So this food is a uh... Before long, delight manifested upon the faces of those present, each side impressed by the other's dish. Seeing this, the dawn servant laughed and declared once more. Their flavors, he said, would be even better combined, and he proceeded to help them prepare the new creation. She broke the village, Major. Guys, uh, I can't 
can't, I probably shouldn't do it because I'll get copyright struck, but. <laughs> it is a marriage of Shabral and Mamulja cultures and proof of their newfound cooperation. <laughs> the dawn servant had asked for a single evening, but the feasting is said to have lasted three days and three nights. So delicious was their repast. In the end, a peace accord was reached, and the dawn servant's words at that time still illuminate our way forward. Look at that. Ignorance begets a strife. Understanding begets fellowship. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my sorry, God. Sorry, sorry. It's just to think that he ended an age old conflict with food. It's all so absurd. It's somehow so very papa, I couldn't help but laugh. Ignorance begets strife. Understanding begets fellowship. That's right, brother. Now then. I trust you understand the significance of Shibruk Bibil and the history it has written. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing the story with us. Yeah, we were lost. In a, in a positive sense, I'll I'll keep with I'll keep What's with wrong? the food. Because that's what's always Food has always been the bridge work uh, between cultures and getting and getting to, to getting to know cultures, right? Like, yeah, I I love. I am loving this so much. Someone was there, you say. Perhaps our competition is cooking up some scheme or another. <sighs> Something bitter and half-baked, no doubt. Oh, this that piano. And that cutscene was so heart heartwarming. Yeah, one hundred percent tonics. Papa really did live up to his words. He traveled the land and learned about the people's myriad cultures. As later, all right, tonics, you have an amazing night, sir. Uh, are you uh, are you doing uh, your podcast tomorrow, buddy? But we'll see. Okay. And how about uh and how about next Wednesday? You're gonna be uh or will you be doing that podcast with uh devoted? Most likely awesome, awesome. I'm looking forward to it, my friend. Uh but I will uh I will see you later down the road, good brother. And thanks for uh thanks for hanging out tonight, my man. And we are doing the same now.
Still weighing heavily upon Kona's mind. <laughs> Bookie Vu has given us valuable insight to the origins of the Gibbert Quill. However, we are still not closer to procuring the necessary Nadru leaves unless. Tell me, is that historic feast commemorated in some fashion? With a monument, for instance? Got the weather proof. Oh my god, how did you get that, brother? And congratulations. Indeed it was. Allow me to show you. Alrighty, Aphrodite. up by the two factions these weapons symbolize their vow that they would never again raise arms against each other there's an rng associated with it you craft five things to get a scratch a ticket so tickets uh have a small chance of 8% to have the kitten. You have one of four chances to catch the right place to get it. Oh my god. Since this feat demands a journey through history, I thought it only logical that a monument like this might steer us true. Especially one at the heart of so significant a battlefield. Amity Rune? Could you help me search this area for clues? Tell me if anything catches your eye. Sure thing. Got it, boss. Look here. This soil seems to be recently overturned. Someone buried in a box. Well, well. I would have been satisfied, satisfied to only find a hint, but here they are. Crash the jewel leaves. And what Rook's doing, I'd wager. There's a poetry in hiding them on this battlefield, given that it was central to the war they helped end. So he planned all this from the start. Thank you again, Wookiee We wouldn't have found these leaves without your help. It was my honor to render assistance. 
Hey, hey Thalian, how you doing, brother? And with apologies to present company, allow me to offer my encouragement as well. Third promise? Ever since I witnessed your performance at the Feet of Reeds, I have been certain that you are the most claimant worthy of leading our nation. Oh, the story... The story just keeps on getting better and better, my friend. All devised solutions to Hanuanu's failing crops, but you alone sought to know their culture and rive Ihehana, even if it seemed unrelated, unrelated to the, your task. In my humble opinion, no one cares more for the people of Kuliolal and what they hold dear. Should you again require the historical musings of an old shipwright, I am ever at your service. Oh, Thalian, thank you so much, brother. <laughs> and you're hopeful without the positivity. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, that's that as little as little as I know about proper football and, uh, for our American lads and lasses soccer, but, uh, but in England, we call it, we, they call it football. Um, I, uh, of course, of course, wish nothing best, but the, uh, for the, the sons, sons and daughters of, uh, St. George, as it were. Yeah. Tons of good food. Yeah. You know what? I can't complain. I've had tons of good food this week too. So. But now. I take my leave. Well, well, of course, of course. You know, I will, uh, I will always cheer for the, for the island of, uh, of St. George. Uh, much like I will always cheer and feel uh, partial to the uh, sons and daughters of uh, St. Andrew, but uh, you know. Oh, the uh, the World War One that in the in the cutscene just prior, they uh, we had a uh, we had an echo of of the past of this battlefield where. Uh, Waklumut's father, I think it's Galul Jaja, was able to get everyone to stop for the night. Uh, and they had a moment of peace and stuff like that. And it, and it was very reminiscent of uh, during during World War One. Uh, the German soldiers and the and the uh, English slash Commonwealth soldiers stopped on Christmas Eve uh, to play soccer slash football and you know have drinks together and all oh, and basically celebrate Christmas. Uh, it was it was very very powerful in how they replicated that right because you know when you when you think that you've spent the prior how many ever years uh 
basically whole slate wholesale slaughtering each other for a few yards of ground every day and then the the one christmas eve they stopped uh and got out of the trenches and uh embraced each other as brothers uh and yeah it was uh it's uh it's very very powerful uh when i do get my patreon set up and stuff uh we'll we'll have nice little watch parties together like i i would love to play uh the video um that i'm thinking of right now it's from sabaton uh and they do the whole christmas eve thing and it and it just captures what that must have been like uh so very very well um you know that that in the midst of absolute horror and uh uh violence there there are moments of of transcendence right you know so but 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 that's what this cutscene had done um and it really triggered that in me so without further ado as they say i cannot argue with that We have what we need. Let us let, let us return to Ibrash. <laughs> no, no, two cats fighting. Two cats fighting is never a beautiful transcendence. It's like being brought to the depths of of hell <laughs> grounding the euros all the big teams with the exception of spain have been subpar the lower ranked teams georgia turkey etc have offered some of the most uh scintillating football i've ever have ever seen so so with <laughs> so with this cup and i is it the euro cup right um and and I don't know and I don't know how see like I'm somewhat familiar with how uh major league baseball, NFL, NHL kind of works like there's certain teams that have more money to bolster their ranks is it the same with 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 uh Euro yeah Euro Euro Cup football or or are teams more kind of on uh uh more level playing field 100 national oh so so you gotta be so if you're on team Georgia you're on you're you're from Georgia like that kind of thing right okay that's that's kind of cool I I I can get behind that. And I mean and I mean that was and and I mean that was the great thing about Canada Cup, right? Like that I mean that's always been the greatest thing about uh Canada Cup for hockey, right? Is that you have to be you have to be like, you know, if you're on team U USA, you're USA or american born sorry if you're canadian you got to be canadian yeah 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 yeah. no 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 i i get it i get it because the canada cup for, like when i was growing up uh that was the most amazing thing because because like you just said every team had like i mean you know whatever if it's a team canada it was all Canadian players. If it was Sweden, it was all Swedish. 
uh, and same with American and all that stuff. And that, and I do love the, the, that cup for, for any, or well, it's not NHL, just for hockey, we'll call it because that's, well, you're right. It's passion and that's what that's all about. Well, so, so the problem, okay. So I, yes, I can, I can, I understand that, that is that, that is an accurate statement, but the Leafs are worse. The, the problem with the Toronto Maple Leafs is that even though they haven't won a Stanley Cup, uh, even though they haven't won a Stanley Cup since 1967, 64, whatever it was, the problem with Toronto is that even though they have not won a Stanley Cup and have been basement dwellers uh, multiple times over the last five decades, uh, they are the most profitable team in the NHL. And that's the problem. You, you don't have a drive to bring home Lord Grey Stanley's Cup when even when you're a loser, you make more money than the teams that actually win the Cup. That Stanley drinking cup. Oh, you got it, sir. But 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 other teams want it more because they don't make the money that uh they don't make the money that the Toronto Maple Leafs do, right? Like they have a huge uh <laughs> and I know this is an MMO stream, but I don't care. Uh The problem with Toronto is that there's no there's no drive to actually win the cup. Because no matter what, your your team's raking in. And I don't know how they do this, but they rake in money all the time. They are the most profitable sports franchise in the world. And it's and I and I don't know whether it's because everyone wants to keep on cheering for the underdog or what, but yeah, it's not like the Montreal Canadiens who are the true champions of hockey, you know? What are they at? 28, 29 Stanley Cups, whatever. But 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 England, England I kinda see maybe following into that Toronto. Thing where maybe Team England just rakes in money because, well, hey, they're Team England. Uh, you know, and there's all that history behind Team England. I get it. I get it. Oh, yeah. We're gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna cheat and do the old hop and skip there. Yeah, so so once again, just like the Toronto Maple Leafs. When you look when you look at the Toronto Maple Leafs, and I shit you not, for the last four for the last four decades, you look at the Toronto Maple Leafs on paper, and they should have they should have tied the Canadians by now for, for Stanley Cups. I mean, their co their coaches have been great. Their 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 administration has been great. The players have been great. It's just it it's what it is what it is, and I I hate saying that term, but I mean really, like you you get on you get on the Maple Leafs. You're getting a banger salary if you get on that team. Number one. 
Uh, number two, the team's always profitable, so you don't have management breathing down your neck. So, who gives a shit if you win the cup or not? The cup or not? Like, really? Like, and and and, and I'm not. I don't want to take away from professional hockey players that are on the Leafs. Obviously, they want to win. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like the pressure's there like it is for other teams, including the Montreal Canadiens, right? You get onto the Montreal Canadiens and there's the burden of being the greatest hockey team of all time, right? Like it's, it's different than the Leafs, right? Like who cares about second best? Hey, you get on to the on to the Canadians though. And I mean you got you got Rocket Richard and you know the other Richard and you've got Guy Lafleur and you know all, like I mean you've got you've got an entire stable of of hockey giants right you know so i i don't know i i don't know what the answer is but yeah i will uh england england shall be in my prayers uh because because hey you know i would love to see the sons of saint george uh bring one home from the win uh anywho oh, folks i am going to take a very quick bio break and I will be right back. Uh, going to grab a top up for my drink as well. Uh, good to see you, Thalian. Uh, Ashen will be right back as well. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. Uh, this, this MSQ has been so much fun. And I mean, just the graphical update. Oh my God, fatter cat. I'm sorry. Let's let's get a zoom in on her. Look look at fatter cat. Come on. Amoka knee whip. Come on, Ashen. She's a pretty Scottish lass. She's got her she's got her quilt there. She's got the the, the kilt there, the old uh tartan. I don't know about the pervert standing there with the uh, the G string on. Let's get over here. There we go. She's got her little. She's got her little sporran. The purse that uh, you know Celtic warriors used to wear to protect their jewels. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back, folks. I am back. I love my favorite thing about streaming. I'll be perfectly honest. I mean, yeah, Final Fantasy 14 is obviously uh, <laughs> the love of my life. But I think one of the greatest things I love more so than than streaming the gaming is actually getting to chat. with amazing uh, people. Um, such as your, you find folks. I, I just, I love this. I love being able to like, even, even if I don't know Jack shit about football, right? Like, I, I, I know a very brief, basic history of football, right? Which probably ends with, uh, you know, Pele, right? You know, <laughs> but, uh, and uh, Sporty Spice's husband, I can't remember his name, but, you know, like, I just, I love that we're able to talk about so many things during the stream and, I, and i'll be perfectly honest it kind of i don't think any other game would actually fit this kind of chat 
Um, the ends and ends with Paley. Oh yeah, dude. Do you remember? And and this was and it was an awesome movie, and it was actually a Stallone movie. Uh and Paley and Paley was in it. Uh it was either late seventies, early eighties. Uh, and it was about the uh it was about the uh they were they were they were German prisoners of war. So they were prisoners of war and they were forced to fight the German team or whatever, but Pele was in it and any point yeah yeah and you know what and that's and that's cool too ashen right like i'm i'm just barely i'm barely a step above you i used to be a monstrously huge hockey fan uh growing up well hello because i'm canadian uh you know, and, and that's not to say all Canadians have to be hockey fans. I'm just saying I was uh, preternaturally disposed to like it. Um, but yeah, there was there was a Stallone movie that he did, which was about a bunch of uh, prisoners of war that had to face off against Team Germany. And uh, and Pele and Pele was actually in the movie, and it was it was effing awesome. Yeah, see, Ashen, I want I want your math and coding. <laughs> uh, well, and and. Well, see, Final Fantasy, I, I, I could just work towards my play of the game. D&D, &D, I feel like I'm already there. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, anywho, let's, let's get back to the, let's get back to the game. I just wanted to say how much I appreciate, uh, you folks in chat. Uh, you all bring a very unique uh aspect of the chat and i love it um oops let's uh do 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 whoop, 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 whoop. okay yeah 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 i forgot i whoop, 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 whoop. there we are i'm glad we we're successful the others should be back soon i expect I hope so. I'm famished. <laughs> Trying to fill my brain up with D D pixel assets for quick D D creation or dungeon creation, of course. And that's, and that's absolutely amazing, brother. Uh, because I know you are good at coding and stuff like that. I might be, I might be reaching you oh, out to you over the next couple of months to help me out with some foundry ideas. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll hold tight. Uh, cause there's stuff I'm going to be posting to the D and D general channel on my, uh, discord, uh, about the new D and D homebrew that I'm working on. Uh, and, and I mean, rule set, uh, where I want each and every one that has access to my discord channel to, uh, pitch in their thoughts or opinions and stuff uh i had a very very good talk uh talk with uh creative canuck last night uh just before i recorded my uh kazamaku uh aether current uh guide uh that'll be posted tomorrow morning uh 
so keep an eye out for that for ho folks but uh we started talking about spell components and a whole bunch of good stuff but yeah How did everyone fare? We got the Naju leaves. Ricky Vu come along and helped us find them. Well, he knows that, but anyways. Ricky Vu is here. I would have liked to have said hello. Well, no, not so much uh, taking away focuses. So we, we, what we want to do is put a put a focus on components, like actual spell components that are listed, right? Like, uh, we want to really bring back that old school, uh, Well, just that old school of, of class differentials, right? Like, and so, so, uh, Kanak and I actually drew inspiration from Dungeon World, and we were thinking about, so, instead of separating out all the components and, you know, having to put all of them onto your character sheet, we thought, like, Dungeon World, how they do with their adventuring pack, where you get uses, like, 10 uses out of, like, let's say your adventuring pack, can pull out a torch uh 10 foot pole whatever but but there would be a spell component pouch and they're gonna be different levels right so so there would be a level one spell component pouch that has 10 uses so your low level wizard whatever that's great you can you know you got a pouch with 10 uses once you run out of that you well you better refill it up again um you know uh and and there would be and obviously this is going to be a huge price difference between a level one spell component pouch and a level nine spell component pouch right uh and the way i also see it too is for when you amplify a spell right like you know how you can take a uh, level fifth spell slot and cast magic missile to to get that effect while well, you would have to use one usage out of your level five spell component pouch not your level one spell component pouch that kind of thing like i'll be uh my my intention is to start posting some of this in the uh D, D general chat uh over the weekend uh for people to take a look at and comment on and and all that kind of stuff yes he gave us an important history lesson That Galul Jaja brought an end to centuries of warfare surprises me little. But to achieve said peace through cuisine is something else entirely. Leave it to my old man to find the oddest of solutions. But how the rest how how about the rest of you? Is our kitchen ready? Everything should be in order. Marianne and I made another tour of the village and borrowed the cooking utensils we need. No mention of what we needed them for, of course. And I am pleased to report that we are stocked with the 
finest firewood this forest had an offer. An offer. Spoken like a true expert. And I'm sorry, the fact that Alphano got the firewood. Oh my god. Aaronville and I found our book, so we should have meat plenty. It was a spirited creature. So, so much so that its hunter fell down as so no one was trying to catch it. What part of never speak of this to anyone do you not understand? Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I would not piss off Alice, eh? I picked a good portion of local herbs. Particular attention to the seeds that yield acalty. I'm told our resident astrologian defined the appropriate measurements for the seasoning as well. He means he's encroaching on your territory. I... No further inquiry did I determine the ideal balance of spices. Then all that remains is to prepare the dish itself. I presume that at least one among us is versed in the culinary arts. I can hardly claim pr profound skill, but I have cooked for myself. You leave the rest to me. And you, I hope. I could use your adventurous grit when it comes to skating the, the Ibrick. Oh my, mouth is watering already. Without further delay then, Oh my god, I love this game so much. Still time. I shall prepare our sample at once. At first, I wasn't sure about being stuck with the one head, but better that than playing nanny to the mewling house cat. <laughs> Be quiet, Bakul Jaja. No one cares what you think. That's right. You tell him what. Huh. Act tough all you like. Victory will be ours. It's ready. Oh, my. Apologies for the wait. We submit to you our Shibrook Pibil. <gasps> this looks amazing! <laughs> <laughs> the dish is prepared by using the culinary techniques of the Mamulja to cook the spiced meats favored by the Jabral. It is a symbol of peace between their two peoples after centuries of war. Awesome, Kyle. Hmm. Both the ingredients and your methods appear to have been correct. Now then. Oh, Tataru. See, I, I'm missing Tataru right now, too. Can tell 
increased texture and aroma. You have recreated Shebrook Bibil. Admirably. Granted, anyone might well achieve similar results by following the recipe to the letter. But you went a step further. You sought to learn the cultural significance of the dish, about Yoctel's history of violence and your father's role in ending it. Your willingness to take lessons from the past befits aspiring dawn servants. And for that, I commend you. Aw, oh, freaking awesome. All that remains is to partake of your creation. Through understanding, it's gained only through experience. Oh my god. Can I insert myself into the game right now? Because <laughs> it looks really effing good. Now this is something I'm definitely good at. <laughs> Ahem, I believe we have yet to receive our assessment. Yeah, suck ass, Seralja. Ours is also a faithful example of Shibruk Pibil, as you will no doubt agree. <laughs> nice final fantasy word to cook fucking damn straight i see well your effort looks the part Unlike the second and third promises dish, it lacks its defining aroma. Yeah, because you guys are soulless pricks. P -p Preposterous! No, you, you're an ass. The meat was marinated in spice before being steamed in an earthen oven. This is Shibruk Pibil. <laughs> oh. And what about the Jatika banana leaf? I, I... It's because of you that we couldn't get any damn leaves! You can't fault us! Ah, uh, no, we got somebody. But the second and third promises had no such difficulty, did they? That which they... Oops, shit. Oh, Sorry, it's guys. just some crusty old leaf. What difference could it make? Uh, all the difference in the world, pal. Your dish lacks an essential ingredient. As you have failed to demonstrate an adequate understanding of Shibruk Pibil, I must deem your performance unsatisfactory. Your team will not receive keystones. <sighs> this was stupid anyway. Okay, well, doesn't matter if it was stupid or not, dude. Ambition only grows more intense. That someone could harbor such dark thoughts towards family. Yeah. What do I care for this sham of a feat? I can always take what I need later. Is delicious. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> it looks so tender, it melts in your mouth, and the way the Najul leaf rounds out these spices is sublime. Oh, one hundred percent ashen, and the same with the first promise. And Sorel Ja, they're both they're all the douchebags. Someone who only knows brute force and deception could never appreciate it. 
Choke on your harmony. Now you're gonna be choking on our after the foot down your throat. Finish your meal. That too is part of the feat. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> <sighs> that was bliss. It was palatable enough, I suppose. Okay, Shirley and Mr. <laughs> I like no no taste at all in your food. <laughs> All right, Thalen, you have a good night, my you brother. Who have successfully performed the feat of repast. I present these keystones. Only one feet left. Yeah. Well, I should get going then. <laughs> so's me. I'm glad that I uh, wasn't paired with one of the others. Of course you weren't. We can do better than that, surely. The sixth keystone is ours. Thanks for all your help, everyone. Wow. <gasps> I forgot something important. Oh, no. Shiplock people left. I could really use another helping. <laughs> oh, you are a sweetheart. That was so good. I'm looking forward to having Super Pibble again. Yeah, Rune. Girl, I mean more mean more using leftover ingredients. You'll love it. I'm thinking to buy more from the road myself. Now that the feast of repast is over, the villagers should be pretty good to offer it to us, right? That's a super buff. Nice. Oh, for, oh, and it's for. For housing. Interesting. All right. Nice feet of weight, and Alphano would have you on the road as soon as possible. Seeing as we now face the penultimate objective of the right, it would be wise to travel to Moa and undertake the feat of brotherhood without delay. Wise, yes, but impossible. That healing back Traverse, which connects the upper forest to Jatikar Heartland, 
It's still unpassable. Impassable, sorry. Is there no other route? I am afraid not. Work to clear the path is on the way though, so I'm hopeful we can resume our journey soon. Then let us reach this time, uh, use this time as we see fit. I, for one, would like to explore the village's surrounds. If Aaronville would oblige me with a tour. Very well. I have no other engagements. Then I will come with you, if only to prove that I am capable of keeping my footing. <laughs> Though I shouldn't rejoice in our delay, it does afford me an opportunity to look at my grandfather's proposed visit to Yaktel. Oh, that's right. Ma Blue did say something about foreign mage coming through here decades back, didn't he? I'll come with you. Want to join us, Rune? Got it, darling. Let us come in here, uh, respective, uh, after our respective diversions. As I recall, the merchant met my grandfather at a market in Yaktel some 20 years ago. Any who might reliably remember him just therefore might be at least middle-aged. Let's make inquiries where we can. All right, folks. This is uh, this is the part of the evening where we are gonna we are gonna take a break uh, from the stream. What an amazing another another uh, sorry another amazing stretch of MSQ. But uh, I am going to. Uh, busy myself with recording the uh, Aether Current Guide uh, continuation as well. But I just want to thank everyone for popping in tonight. I love you guys. Uh, please hit that uh, follow button if you haven't done so already. Uh, but what an amazing journey this MSQ has been. The time still catch up that's all right. We'll we'll see about that. Uh, but yeah, guys, I uh, and and I'll be perfectly honest. Uh, I do love the MSQ, and I, and I'm trying to separate all the eye candy. From from my overtly positive uh, review of uh, the MSQ, but I, I I I feel in my heart of hearts that the MSQ is absolutely amazing. Uh, Sunday I will be making my uh, MSQ so far uh, video that I'll 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 basically record and then edit, publish the next week, but. So far, so really good. Um, and 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 it's all the more enjoyable because of you guys in in chat. Uh, this is just so much fun. This is like sitting at this is like sitting at a table during the old school D and D gay D D and D days uh 
and just shoot the shit about all sorts of geeky stuff and, and whatever. But enjoying that storyline along the way told to us by the DM. But uh, yeah, folks, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. This is your pal Rune signing out for the night. I will be back uh, tomorrow night around 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. And we will, uh, we're going to, we'll do a long stretch. Uh, cause I would like to, uh, push as far as I can. And if I decide to stream earlier, I will, uh, I will post on the, on the discord and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys and, uh, we will see you soon. Take care. <laughs>